Johnson. I am a teaching artist and I have a long background in media in various ways and I also have an education that backs that up. So a little about me, um, when I was in college I studied um, getting a bachelor's in radio and television production and fortunately for me, I was recruited by the Baltimore Orioles to be a part of their video production department right out of college. So yes, it was a very exciting job and I had an office in the middle of Baltimore and I did video editing, I did shooting, I did all kinds of production things, setting up equipment and it was, it was, it was fun while, while it lasted. The entertainment industry is very tricky. It, I found myself more as a freelancer over, over history. Some people get a gig, they stick with it. Um, I mean, I, I did have that opportunity. I did work in news. Probably my next big media job was working for Fox News, and I worked there for several years, doing a lot of things behind the scenes, being camera, teleprompter, operator, what we call Chiron, which is a person who types up the graphics, things that say breaking news and live, and the reporters here, and um, floor directing when I moved over to CBS News. That's the person who's counting, and you might see them in the background um, going five, four, three. I was also fortunate to get to do a little tiny, tiny bit of, of directing as well on some of the talk shows that we, we would have at, at Fox News. But I didn't find at that time that working in news was what I wanted. I wanted something else and so I went back to school and then I got my master's in English literature and screenwriting. Uh, from Morgan State University, which is the same university that I went to for, for undergraduate uh, school. And I started learning about writing, and no sooner than I started writing, I began working on an independent film. But I just felt like I was going to go to LA. That's where I had my sights on. I felt in Maryland that I had a glass ceiling and that ceiling was like it's only news it's only um, post-production and that was just basically my time which was a long time ago I feel like now with the internet I think there are a lot of opportunities for people to do things in different parts of the country more so than when I uh, when I was coming up. I drove cross country to Los Angeles and fortunately I um, got a job pretty quickly. For some reason the skills I had were transferable and there was this new industry, which is really telling you how old I am, but this new industry that was really beginning to evolve, which was reality TV. My name is Ayana Harrison. Well, today I am here recording videos and taking pictures for my wonderful school. And I am eight years old. Okay, so I am Crystal Johnson and I am a video production coach for LAUSD's Beyond the Bell after school program. And what we essentially do is teach children from kinder through sixth grade about the elements of video production. And that is anything from doing storyboarding, writing scripts, to handling all sorts of equipment from boom operating to handling the cameras and uh, multiple other positions. 